Hello friends, in this one we take a look at finding the derivative with respect to x of 3 to the x times ln of x. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to give you a chance to try it, then we'll do it together. Okay, let's take a look at doing it together. So I have 3 raised to the x times ln of x. So what I'm going to do is first just convert it into e as the base. Okay, so convert to e as the base. Now why would I do that? Because I like working with e as the base. So the way to do this is use this basic trick. Okay, 3 is equivalent to writing e to the ln of 3. The reason is that the e and the ln functions are inverses. So whatever ln does, e reverses. In other words, 3 can literally be written as e to the ln of 3. So now what I'm going to do is proceed as follows. I will go and type d dx of this 3 raised to the x ln x is equivalent to the derivative of e raised to the ln of 3x ln x as follows. So now I'm going to apply the chain rule and the basic rules for e. So that means the following when I differentiate. First I copy that e to the ln 3x ln of x. I copy that part exactly as written. Okay. I'm going to do it this way in other words. It's e to the ln of 3 times x ln of x. And then I multiply by the derivative of the exponential expression, which would be the derivative of ln of 3 and then x ln of x. But now there's a basic rule. ln of 3 is a constant. So the constant rule for derivative says you can pull that outside, the derivative. So in other words, it's going to look like the following next, essentially. e to the ln of 3, x ln of x, and then ln of 3. Continue here. And then what I have left essentially is the derivative as follows, d dx of x ln x. So it's x times ln x. Those are two functions of x. You have to use for that reason on that step the product rule. Okay? So I hope you've got that. Let's continue here. So down below I'm going to pick up as follows. I'm going to have e raised to the ln of 3 and then x ln of x. And for that derivative of x and ln x being multiplied, I'm going to use the product rule. So put a bracket in here, and I will type the derivative of x is 1, and I copy ln of x. Then you continue by the product rule. It's going to be plus, and now the derivative of, a, I'm sorry, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, and the x that's multiplying ln of x stays. So in other words, it's just x plus, or rather times 1 over x this way, okay? I spoke a little too fast in my fold. So that's what it looks like at first in a raw form. Let's clean this up a little bit more. So here, now think back. You see, we had 3 were written as e to the ln of 3, so that we can use the basic rules on e as a function and then ln and so on. But this rule works both ways. In other words, you can take 3 and write it as e to the ln of 3, or equivalently, what you can do is just begin with e raised to the ln of 3 and write it the back as 3. It works both ways. It's a beautiful little rule. So that means over here where I see e to the ln of 3 down below, I can put down a 3 to replace that. In other words, right here I'm going to now type 3 raised to the x ln of x and then clean up that and then this is an extra ln of 3 right here that I forgot to copy above. Okay, and here I'm going to put a bracket and then here it's going to be ln of x plus now x times 1 over x is just 1. And essentially this is the answer. 3 to the x ln of x times ln of 3 times ln of x plus 1. That's the answer. And here up here I should have included ln of 3 in that position. So that's my fault but it's fixed now. So if you like these kinds of math videos at this level, please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another one.